I really hate long, boring demos, so I'm going to try to make this under one minute, and it's going to show you how to make a bouncy button within origami. So bring in these three patches, phone dimensions, layer group, and phone. That puts a phone into your viewer. Then double click on layer group, and this is where you're going to do all your work. You can drag in an image, which is a feature of origami. Quartz Composer doesn't do that by itself, which is kind of crazy, um, but origami makes that work really nicely, and it puts in a layer patch, which has all these values that you can adjust, and you can use the arrow keys to adjust values in Quartz Composer if you have origami installed, which is a really handy feature. And use shift arrow to move in 10 pixel increments. All right, now I want to make this clickable, so bring in an interaction two patch, which is provided by origami, Hook up the uh, port up here at the top to the layer, to this top port in the layer. Sorry, I don't know what those are called. Then bring in a transition patch. And hook up the down output of the interaction into the progress of transition. So whenever you click on the layer, because these are connected. Oh, no, I'm already over my time. OK, I'm going for two minutes. Whenever you click on the layer, because these are connected, it's going to emit um, a true value out of these output ports here. So bringing that into transition. Transition will let you specify a range of values that you want to animate between. And uh, I'm going to go from 1 to 4. And then bring in a bouncy animation patch. And this is the fun one. You hook up value. So it's going to be a value between 1 and 4. goes into bouncy animation. And that's going to make it be bouncy. Hook the progress into scale. And now when you click, it animates between a scale of 1 and a scale of 4, but it's just like a really boring animation. If you change the friction and tension values uh, to maybe 3 for friction and a really high tension, I'm putting 150, you get a really fun bounce. OK, I'm all out of time. If you'd like to see another one of these, or if you have something cool that you made that you'd like to show me, send me an email, nathan at flinto.com.